everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm back with a special episode just for you. As you can hear, Diwali is still around, the crackers are going, the lights are still on and it's such a beautiful season, right? This festival is the festival of lights and it's lit up my whole city, my whole of my whole country in fact. Okay, um, but of course the pollution part is there, we will talk about that some other day. But today I have an important issue which I need to discuss with you. What happened today morning was that I saw a little boy and his mother had come in. It was at my neighbor's place. I suddenly saw that this little boy was being beaten up by his own mother. I went to the veranda and I was literally screaming my head off and I was saying, why are you hitting this little boy? And it was the mother who was hitting the boy and the boy seemed to be somewhere around just four years old maybe even less than that or maybe four years old yes and the boy was crying pathetically the boy was crying in great pain because the mother had a stick and the mother was beating the little child black and blue and which was not a very very nice it's not a nice sight at all to see a little boy being beaten up and especially by the mother okay the boy might have done something wrong the boy might have been naughty but that's not the way a mother should beat up a child because i'll tell you what happens what happens exactly because i know i remember i got beaten up as a little girl too and then i used to be very angry with my mother i used to be very very angry because of the way she used to hit me so what i did was when when i had my child I I have to confess this in front of you. I did beat him once for lying. And then I told him that if you lie, what happens is that I'm going to be very angry with you. But if you tell us, tell me the truth, if you tell your parents the truth, then your parents are going to be very happy. They are going to actually praise you. They're going to reward you for being truthful to your parents. But if you are going to lie, then what happens is that the parents gets very, very angry. So he listened to this and he has been very, very truthful with me after that. That was like, you know, when he was just five years old or something like that. And then I went and confessed to my best friend that I did it. I did this to my little boy. I hit him. And uh, my friend said that don't ever do that. Don't ever again hit your child because you are feeling very guilty about it. And I did. I felt awful, awful, awful after I hit my little son. And I think uh, that's not a nice thing because um, when when I have given birth to my child, I have. Uh, it is my duty how I raise my child how I treat my child so that my child grows up to be a very healthy individual later on in life. And my child does not have these bad memories as a child. So I don't want him to carry bad memories from his childhood into adulthood and maybe have some sort of anger against me. I don't want to have that. I want to be his friend. I want uh, him to be a good friend of mine and I want to be a good friend for him. So when I saw this uh, mother today morning beating up her child absolutely like a crazy, uh, in a crazy diabolical manner, it was indeed diabolical because she was behaving really evil with the child. And as I started screaming, she looked up at, at my veranda and then she just picked up the child and she just dragged him away back home, I think. And then I talked to one of the women who ha who happens to know her, one of the women out there. And she said that she works around here and she was, her boy was being naughty. So this woman came and she, she hit her child, but that is not how we do that. You know, I have, I have been working with children. I have, and it's a, it's a pleasure to work with children because children are so creative. They are so awesome. So for parents, this particular message is for the parents. That is why I'm making this video because the other day also another lady called me up and said that my child who is just 10 years old is very naughty, doesn't listen to me because he's extremely pampered. He wants everything to be done and uh, for him and so she's very worried what should i do the one thing i told her is that if you really want to gift your son or your daughter anything in life that is don't do anything for your child at all i have never done anything for my child i don't 
I don't make his bre- uh, breakfast. I of course I cook lunch, but then I don't cook dinner as well. So he knows if, if, the, if the things are around, he knows what to cook, and he knows how to prepare his own stuff. He just prepares his own uh, choice of food or dinner, and he has that dinner and breakfast. But then I don't do everything for him. When he was very small, my mother used to complain that uh, you make him go and wash clothes in the washing machine then you make him go and put it out on the line then you ask him to bring it back and fold it how can you make a little boy work so much and then i told her one thing i said mom do you remember that i also grew up working like this when i was 5 years old you sent me to the market to buy vegetables fish meat eggs do you know that i did all that you you made me do all that so what's wrong with the boy why do we have to keep the boy like a king and not make him do any of the housework but we think that the that the girl has to do it but of course that's a different topic we are going to speak about that but you know the thing i'm talking about today is that if you are a friend for your child that child is going to treat you like a friend and is going to divulge everything with you now today what did i see in the morning i saw that mother beating up the little child and what is going to happen to the little child if he keeps on getting this beating and if he keeps on being harassed by his mother and his mother keeps on saying that my son is naughty my son is bad my son doesn't listen to anyone my son is um, extremely disobedient and all these negative terms if you keep telling your child your child will grow up and say okay my mom keeps telling me that i am a very naughty child i am a very naughty boy or a naughty girl so why can't i do more naughtiness so as soon as the naughtiness you know it continues at home it's fine but as soon as he gets out and he gets a little bit of freedom he becomes even naughtier because his mother had never had a good word had never said a nice words to him ever So what happened in the process that that child will psychologically take it into himself that he's actually a bad boy or a bad girl uh, the child will say that so since my mother said all this so it's fine for me to do another you know a bad activity or something bad it doesn't matter at all who cares so that's what the child is going to do but as long as the mother or the father keeps on saying that my child is very good my child is obedient my child uh, listens to everything he's very studious um even if he's an average child but he still keeps on trying and he's he's doing better than what he did last year all these kind of positive affirmations will make your child grow don't don't keep on saying that my child is not it i remember one thing my mother would never allow anyone to say anything bad to her grandson to my son that is tyrus i remember she used to say never allow anyone to say the word bodmas bodmas means naughty so don't ever allow anyone to say bodmas to your son because that would create a negative impact on him and the negative energy would flow into him and you know and he would do more bodmasi he would be more he would be even more naughtier so it is better that we keep saying affirmative things to him you are a very good boy you are one of the best boys i know you're wonderful you're superb you're awesome you're so good in your studies you are the best when we keep saying these words to our children then what happens is that the child also blooms into a healthy child apart from that we of course we teach the values and things like that but then it is our duty to keep affirming that the child is good and not keep saying bad things not keep saying negative things for a small little mistake that the child might have done maybe today is that little boy of 4 years old might have just been naughty with the neighbor's kid that's a simple thing and the mother just took up a stick started beating up the kid as if she was beating <sighs> I don't know what she was beating. My God, that sound—that was a that was a horrible scene I saw, and I still can't get it out of my mind. So I thought I'm going to speak to you, and um, I, I I warned them. I told the neighbor that please tell that woman when she comes back next time, if she beats up her son again, I'm going to call the police. I'm seriously going to call the police, and I'm going to make sure she's she goes to jail for that because nobody has the right to beat their own child. It's only in India that child line is uh, I don't know if it's still working or if it's strong enough but in a country like the US or any in any other country if anyone is found um 
doing things like this, abusive things to the child, they are immediately sent off to foster care, or and the and the and the parents are sent off uh, to for interrogation and things like that. But here, it's a random thing which happens. Even for my neighbor, I have seen my neighbors beating up the child and that was one day I heard the little child he still hasn't gone to school the child says why do you beat me up so much he's questioning his mother and his father why do you beat me so much so now that he has a voice even before he's gone to school imagine how he's going to be when he grows up so he's going to keep questioning his parents about why he didn't he was he didn't get a good childhood why he was why he did not get a deserving childhood a happy childhood why these are the questions children are going to ask and it is our duty it is our bounden duty to keep our children healthy in the body mind and spirit and how do we do that by being positive with them by being their best friend by nurturing positive affirmations to with them all the time so that so that they don't turn into negative beings as soon as you say something negative they are going to take it upon themselves that okay fine i'm like this so what because i remember my mother used to tell me that i'm not a good girl so automatically my mind used to be very disturbed that am i not a good girl i used to question i used to keep questioning myself am i not a good girl why does my mom say i'm not a good girl but i have not done anything wrong so things like that affects a child even into adulthood even now look at me i am still not being able to cope with those kind of things which happened during my childhood so it is important i request all the parents please do everything to keep your child happy but don't do everything so that he stops working that is one topic we need to discuss about later but you the best gift that you can do for your child is by not doing anything for him loving him a lot loving him and her a lot more than is required but not giving him everything not showing your money not uh, uh, you know feeding him even you know when he's 10 years old don't feed him make him have his own food make him fold his own clothes all these kind of things are part of the activities that we as girls used to do so why not the boys let the boys let the girls do all these all these kind of works and of course love them to the zenith love them as much as you can because these are not things that you will do because you don't love them you these are the things you are going to teach them you are going to help them to do because you love them when you ask them to go and put out clothes in the in, in the line in the clothes line and ask them to bring them back fold them you are not doing anything that is against them you are making them work so that they become self sufficient in the future when they go to a hostel when they go to stay alone they are going to become self sufficient they're going to start doing their own work that is why we must nurture these uh, kind of activities these kind of habits in our children so that they grow up to be healthy and uh, healthy adults and uh, they have good memories of their childhood not bad memories of how they were beaten up how they were humiliated how they were abused all these kind of things do, uh, children do not deserve this children deserve a very healthy childhood so on that note i'm going to say bye to all of you please give your comments i'm going to uh, i'm i'm going to um, ask you to give your comments because this is a very important topic that we need to discuss about and uh, there are a lot of people discussing about early childhood development and i think this is a part of it early childhood development where we help the child to grow but at the same time we help him by not helping him with everything helping him or her with everything so please understand that i am trying to make this video to tell you that you, if you love your child love him or her to the zenith don't beat your child don't uh, put across negative uh, negative statements so that the child is demoralized but then also don't forget to love that child to the zenith love that child as much as you can more than is necessary and how you will do that we are going to again make a video okay keep watching my channel do subscribe to it and if you like and hear what you see please share my video so that it's going to help other people thank you and i love all of you so much take care and see you soon